join me on a journey to embrace your Cavella life. Hi friends, thanks so much for joining me. My name is Rachel, welcome to your vinyasa flow. So today as we move through our practice, let's focus on freedom and what freedom means to you. So let's begin in a child's pose. Coming slightly towards the back of your mat, let the hips drop, take the arms out nice and wide, coming into that extended child's pose. Let the chest drop down towards the thighs. Start to externally rotate those shoulders out. Just arriving on your mat, coming into your practice. Begin to let the breath just flow in through the nose, into the lungs, down into the belly. Start to come into a nice, deep, steady breath. Deepening, lengthening the breath. Equalizing that inhale with the exhale. And then let's slowly start to walk the hands over to the left side of the mat, taking both palms off your mat. Start to really draw down through that right hip, feeling a nice lateral stretch along the right side body from the right palm down to that right glute, that right hip. And then take it over back through center, and to the opposite side, walking the palms off to the right side. Dropping that left hip, feel that nice lateral stretch. And then coming back through center Let's slowly start to float the arms alongside the body. Coming into our child's pose, rounding the spine, the forehead's touching. Stimulating that third eye, the eye of intuition. And trusting yourself in your practice and in life. And slowly float up to seated. Let's inhale, floating the arms up, reaching through the fingertips. Bring the palms together, hands in prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale up. Exhale. Take a moment to set an intention dedication for your practice if you'd like. Inhale. 
let's float the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. This time, floating up onto the knees if you'd like. Reaching up, gazing up. And then exhale, hands to heart. Let the hips float down to the heels. Two more just like that. Inhale up. Exhale, take it down. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Holding here, staying grounded. Inhale up. And let's exhale, coming into a spinal twist, taking that left palm over to the right knee. Start to gaze over the right shoulder. Deep inhale. Exhale, twist a little bit more on that exhale. Inhale, float back to center. Exhale, take it to the opposite side, right palm to left knee. Nice, deep inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart. Big inhale, come up back onto the knees. And exhale, let's float down into our tabletop position. Check your alignment, stack the shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. And let's just move through some gentle cat cows. Let the belly drop, gaze up. Tuck the toes, start to engage the feet. Exhale, round. Inhale, belly drops. Exhale, round. So just flowing with your own breath. At your own pace. Warming up that spine. And exhale round, really pushing the ground away, opening up that upper back, the shoulders. Draw that navel to the spine. And taking two more rounds. And then come back to neutral. We're going to start to flow, waking up the hips. So finding freedom in your practice here. Let's take the hips over towards the right, then drop down to the heels, then over to the left. So just taking four like that. Start to really feel that stretch in that right hip, the right glute. And then come back to center. Let's just take it in the other direction. Staying with your breath. And that's three. And four. And then come back to neutral. Extend that right leg back. Tuck the right toes. Let's come into a nice calf stretch. Start to press that right heel away. And bring it back down. Switch legs. Left leg extends. Tuck the toes. Press the heel away. And come back. Float that right leg up. Square the hip shoulders. Holding here. 
And then we're going to take our toe taps coming to the outside of the mat to the right and then kick, cross it over to the left. And kick, cross, kick, kick. So four more. Waking up the glutes. Two. And last one. Cross, kick, tap and kick it up again and cross it over. And then start to slide that right leg back. We're going to fold over our left knee, reach the arms forward. Feel that stretch. And then inhale, float that leg up. Exhale, take it down. Other leg, left leg floats up. And take it over to the left. Kick, cross. So nice and slow and controlled with alignment here. Don't rush it. Kick, tap, kick, tap, kick, 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 tap, kick, three more here, kick, kick, two more. Kick, kick, and last one, kick and cross, and then slide that left leg back. Walk the arms forward, feel that stretch. Inhale, float back up. Float that leg down. And then tucking the toes, let's come into our downward facing dog here. Coming into downward facing dog, start to pedal the heels, bend the knees, move the hips. Let that head hang, maybe move the head around, turning the head. Just loosening up, feeling really free here. Draw the shoulder blades down the back. Two breaths. And let's lift the heels, walking to the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Roll all the way up to Tadasana Mountain Pose. Float the arms, reach to the sky. Bring those palms together, really lift and lengthen here. <laughs> Exhale, back bend, press the hips. Exhale, hands to heart. So let's move through some sun breaths here. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold, lead with the heart. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Rolling all the way up, float the arms, reaching up. Exhale, ground the feet, coming into your back bend. Hands to heart, beautiful. Two more, just like that flow with your own breath, at your own pace, make it feel good. Inhale, exhale. Roll all the way up, float the arms. Exhale, back bend, hands to heart. One more, inhale, exhale, forward fold, inhale, 
exhale. Rolling up. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to heart. Adding on. Inhale up. So we're just going to keep on flowing, building that heat. Inhale. Exhale. This time, right leg steps back, left leg, find your high plank. Holding here, two full breaths, engaging the core. Create that beautiful straight line from the crown to the heels. And then lower knees, chest, chin, take it down. Inhale. Peel the chest, baby cobra, pin the legs together, exhale. Press through the palms, tuck the toes, downward facing dog, two breaths. Maybe taking that inhale and through the nose and then exhale out the mouth, let it go. Walk, step or float the feet. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Roll all the way up to Dasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, exhale. Hands to heart. Other side, inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Left leg, right leg. High plank. Holding here. Breathe, push the breath through the body. Nice, beautiful plank, strong. And lower knees, chest, chin. Inhale, peel the chest. Baby cobra. Exhale, take it down. Push through tabletop, tuck the toes down, we're facing dog. Two breaths. So each time in your down dog, try to get those heels closer to the ground. Try to get that sternum closer to the ground, hips to the sky. Gaze past the knees here. Just let that head hang. And then walk, step or float the feet. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Roll all the way up. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to heart. Adding on, inhale, sweep the arms up, palms face in. Utkatasana chair pose. Coming into your chair pose, check to make sure you can see all 10 toes. Shift the hips back if you can't. Lift, gazing up to the sky. Unshrug the shoulders, relax. Sit down nice and low. Firing up the quads here, slight pelvic tilt. Sit down lower. Make those legs work. Open the arms, dive it down. Forward fold, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, walk, step or float the feet to plank. And if you're ready, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, or stay with that knees, chest, chin. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale, roll through the feet, downward facing dog. Two breaths here. We're going to add on, right leg floats up, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, stack the hip. Right hip stacks over that left hip. Flex that right foot. Draw the right heel to the right glute. Really opening up. Left heel drops down to the ground. Knee to chest, step through. Low lunge, left knee grounds, inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, sink the hips, gaze up to the sky. 
Feel those hips sink. Open the arms, frame that right foot. Flow through, three-legged dog, down dog. Stretch it out. Exhale, float it down. Option to flow through vinyasa, high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Left leg, three-legged dog. Bend that left knee. Stack the hips. Really opening up that hip. Flex that left foot. Left heel to left glute. Feel that quad stretch. Right heel drops. Knee to chest. Step through. Sweep the arms, low lunge. Exhale, sink the hips, gaze up. Relax through the shoulders, the upper body. Open the arms, frame the foot. Tuck the toes, three-legged dog, left leg to the sky. Float it down, down dog. High plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Two breaths here, an opportunity to go deeper. Walk, step or float the feet. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, come back to chair. Nice. Big inhale up. Exhale, bring the hands into the heart center. Chair. Inhale up, open the arms. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, sitting down. Big inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And then hold here. Hold your chair pose. Make sure you have your alignment. And then let's go for our twist. Twisting over. Hooking that left elbow over the right knee. So settle and take your time here. Start to center the palms on the chest. Gaze over the right shoulder. Twisting from that belly button, the rib cage. And then come back through center, keep it nice and low, and then inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Sweep the arms, Utkatasana. Exhale, sink those hips. Hands to heart. Inhale, chair squats. Hands to prayer for eight. Exhale, at your own pace. Four. Inhale. Exhale, inhale up, exhale, inhale, exhale, hold on this one, take the twist, settle in, just breathe, promoting that detoxification through the body, take your time twisting that spine, Gaze over that left shoulder. Then come back to center. Stay nice and low. Then big inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart. Take the palms out to the sides. Big inhale. Float that right arm up. Taking big circles. Passing in front of the body. Inhale up. Two. 
working that shoulder, three, and four. Hold here, switching to the other side. Inhale up, cross it over. One, two, three, and four. Inhale, float those arms up. Exhale, take the hands behind the back. Interlace, standing cobra. Start to let that head drop back. Bring the palms together. Press the hips forward. Exhale, keep those fingers interlaced. Bend the knees, forward fold. Float the arms up to the sky. Really get that torso to thigh connection. Start to straighten the knees once you get down there. Lengthening those hamstrings. Lift the hips, float the arms up. Arms to the sky, head to the ground. Breathe. Draw the shoulder blades away from the ears. And release, sweep the arms, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, float that right arm back, take your twist, gaze back to that right palm. Sit down nice and low. Big inhale, straighten the legs, float that left arm up, right arm floats up. Exhale, hands to heart. Sweep the arms. Exhale, interlace, standing cobra. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees. Let the head drop. And then straighten the knees, float the arms. Really drawing those arms up to the sky, grounding the feet, relaxing the feet. Breathe. And then releasing the fingers, sweep the arms, Utkatasana. Exhale, left arm floats back. Take your twist, gaze back to that left palm. Sit down lower. Big inhale, straighten the knees, float that arm, inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart. Come back to center. Just breathe. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, float through to high plank, chaturanga, dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Two breaths here. Float that right leg up for your three-legged dog. Bend the knees, stack the hip. Just so gonna work the obliques here. Take that right knee over to the right elbow. Extend three-legged dog, cross it over to the left. Extend, knee to chest, and then we're gonna repeat that again. So remember to just do what you can do, modify if you need to. So working that core, working that arm strength. Knee to chest here, step through for a low lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, sink the hips. Breathe. Open the arms, frame that right foot. Coming into a forward fold. Shift the hips back. Flex through that right foot. Let the chest drop. Let the forehead touch. Mm -hmm. 
take the time here to go deeper. And then release, come back to your low lunge. Taking a low lunge twist, float that right arm up. Start to stack the shoulders. Make sure that right knee is stacked over the right ankle here. Feel that twist. Come back to center. Half camel, left arm is going to float. Float, reaching up, reaching for that left heel. Press the hips forward, gaze up to that right palm. Try to go deeper here, lift the heart to the sky. And then cartwheel in the arms, low lunge twist, lift that left knee. Come up high in that big left toe. Take the twist deeper, extending through that left leg. Come back to center from here. We're gonna come into our supported warrior three. So shifting the weight to the right foot, walk the hands out, float that left leg up, point the toes, square the hips. And let's take four toe taps here. So tapping that toe, lift, float the leg. Two. Three. And four, hold here. Maybe start to go for a standing split, dropping that chest towards that right thigh. Lift that left leg as high as you can. Stretch it out. And then exhale, float that left foot to meet the right foot, coming to the top of your mat. Inhale all the way up to Dasana. Inhale. Exhale, back bend. Hands to heart. Nice. Repeating that other side. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, walk, step, or float. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two breaths. Left leg, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, stack the hip. Work in the obliques. Left knee over towards that left elbow. Extend, three-legged dog. Cross it over to the right. Extend. Knee to chest. Nice. Great job. Repeat. Over to the left. Right, cross it over, extend, knee to chest, hold, hover, then step through, low lunge, inhale, sweep the arms, exhale, sink the hips, gaze up, relax through the shoulders, breathe here. Open the arms, frame that left foot. Forward fold, sweep those hips back. Flex that left foot, square the hips. So we're gonna stay here for a little bit, so just take your time and breathe. Try to go a little deeper, letting that chest fall. Back to your breath. Mm -hmm. 
and then back to your low lunge back to the top of your mat frame of rather plant that right palm coming into our low lunge twist float that left arm up twisting stacking the shoulders find that twist exhale back to center or half camel right arm floats reaches back to that right ankle left arm floats up keep pressing the hips forward stay nice and deep in that lunge lifting the heart lifting the chest Cartwheel the arms, low lunge twist, second time, maybe lift that right knee, come up onto that right toe, twist it up. Float back to center, so from here, shifting our weight into that left foot supported warrior three walk those hands out float that right leg point the toes square the hips find your center find your balance first so you can stay here or take those four toe taps nice and slow with control squeeze the glute at the top tap float squeeze tap float and last one float it up hold here or go for your standing split let the chest drop to that left leg forehead to knee float that right leg up do the best you can do And then flex that right foot, float it down to meet, or the right foot to the left. Inhale, rolling up to Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, float. Exhale, back bend. Hands to heart. And just come back to center, close the eyes, breathe. Think about that freedom, freedom on your mat, freedom in your life. It's different for everybody what that means to you, to those around you. Let's inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, walk, step or float. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Two breaths here. Right leg, three legged dog. We're going to come to bend that knee, stack the hip. An option here to flip your dog or just hold right here, opening up that hip. So if you're flipping your dog, step that right foot down. Inhale, press the hips to the sky, opening up the heart, opening up the chest. Ground the feet, press those hips higher. Exhale, take it back, three-legged dog. From here, we're going to come in for fall and triangle. So the knee, the right knee comes in towards the chest. Step that right foot towards that left hand. The outside. And then inhale, float that left arm up to the sky. When you're ready, come back to center. Right leg, three-legged dog. 
Knee to chest for three. Stay strong. You got this. Two. Extend. Three-legged dog. Three. Extend. And then knee to chest. Let's step through. Low lunge first. And then high lunge. So just find your center here. Take a minute to get that nice foundation grounding on your mat. Soften the knees, soften the shoulders. Gaze up, working that balance. Then we can take our charging warrior. So working that balance, that upper body. So you can hold here or start to open the arms and then reaching forward. Inhale up, opening up. So we're doing a lot of heart opening, chest opening, postures here, energizing the body, feeling free, open. And then last one, just hold here. Sweep that right arm back, coming into that twist. Gaze to that right palm. If you'd like, take that right palm to the left thigh. Float that left arm up. Reach. Gaze up. And then flow it out for your warrior two. Sink those hips, bend those knees, get right really deep into the legs, make those legs work. Strong arms, shake them out. Coming in for peaceful warrior. Float the right arm up, really lift and lengthen, avoid collapsing into that left side of the body. Focus on the lifting up reaching up to the sky. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, warrior two. From here, cartwheel the arms down, low lunge twist. Left palm inside that right foot. Take your twist. Float that right palm. Frame that right foot. Come back to center. We're going to flow it up for that supported warrior three again. So shift the weight right foot. Float that left leg. So second opportunity here to work that balance, that strength. If you want to go for your toe taps, or just hold, or maybe bring the hands to prayer. Do whatever you want to do here in your practice. Hold. If you're taking those toe taps, maybe go for that standing split again. Walk the hands in closer to that ankle. Maybe hold the ankle with one hand. And then flexing that left foot, come to meet the right foot. Inhale all the way up. Float the arms. Exhale. So we're going to take another balancing pose. Maybe shake out the legs. 
and stay here. So we can take this in stages. Do what feels right for you. So shifting the weight into the right foot, but never sinking into the right hip. So make sure you're not leaning into that right hip. Stay nice and lifted and tall here. Let's start to float that left knee up into the chest. So this is your first step here. You can take the palms to the front of the knee and just hang out here, holding here, balancing here. And even if this is too much, you can just lift that foot up off the ground. So the main thing is you want to focus straight ahead. Find a point just to focus on. Just working the balance here. If you got this and you want to go deeper, you can take that left hand, yogi toe grip, peace sign fingers wrap around that big toe, take the hand, that right hand to the hip for balance or wherever feels good and start to extend that left leg forward. So you could try it, see if you can get it. It's okay if the knee stays bent. You can open it up to the side. Or if that's not happening, just bend the knee. So play here. Take it back to center. And then float that left foot down. Shake it out. Good job. Let's inhale, exhale, breathe, inhale, let it go, exhale, inhale up, exhale, let's flow through our vinyasa, exhale, forward fold, inhale, flat back, exhale, fold, walk, step or float. High plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Two breaths. Left leg up to the sky. Three-legged dog. Bend the knees, stack the hip. Option here to stay right here or flip your dog. Right foot steps. Inhale. Exhale, take it back. You know what? I think I'm on the wrong leg, right? Is everybody on the left leg? Yes. Okay, good. Knee to chest for three. Extend left leg to the sky. Knee to chest. Extend. Knee to chest. Extend. And last one. Hold. Hover here. And then step through for a low lunge first. Then find your high lunge. So softening the knees here. Find your center. You know what's coming next. Charging warrior. So get that balance. Relax through the shoulders. Breathe. When you're ready, you could hold here or start to flow. Big arm circles for four here. Just working that upper body, supporting yourself with those nice strong legs, strong core. Three, and four, hold. 
come back to center. Sweep that left arm, take your twist, twisted warrior. Gaze back to that left palm. Really extend through that right leg. Taking your twist. Maybe take that left palm to the back of the right thigh. Float that right arm up. Gazing up. And then flow into your warrior two. Nice. On your warrior two, shake out the arms. Shake it out. Peaceful, your warrior. Staying with that breath. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Holding here. And then cartwheel the arms. Low lunge, twist. Float that left arm. Breathe. Take it back to center. Coming into that supported warrior three. When you're ready, shift the weight, left foot, right leg floats up. Taking whatever you want here, you can take the hands into prayer and just balance. You can go for those toe taps for four, three, two, and one. Hold here, go for a standing split if you'd like. Just really extend that leg up to the sky. Great job, everybody. And then exhale, float that right foot to meet the left foot. Roll through the spine. Inhale up. Exhale. Hands to heart. Come back to center. And then coming into our balancing, just shake it out. So this is all about the balance. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Just do what you can do. So this time, shifting the weight into the left foot. Keep that body nice and lifted. Float the right knee into the chest. Get the balance first. Don't look down, look straight ahead. Find that point. And just hold here. Just notice your alignment, make sure you're stacking your joints. That's gonna help with your balance. Just relax and breathe. If you wanna to go to the second step, take that right arm inside the thigh, peace sign fingers, wrap around the big toe. Take that left hand to the left hip if that helps. And then extend the leg out. Option to open it up. Nice. Take it back. Nice. And then when you're ready, just come back to center. Let it go. Excellent. Great job. Inhale up. Exhale out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Up. Exhale, hands to heart. So from here, let's 
take it down to our mat. Lifting the heels up. We're gonna work to get down there. <laughs> Coming up onto the toes, if you can get your balance. And then we're just gonna slowly slide down, all the way down. balance here. Nice. Nice job, everybody. Balance. And then when you're ready, float down. Coming in for boat pose. Right into it. So hold here, or if you want to work that core a little bit more, really flatten out the back, lift the chest. So you can stay right here, or start to just take a little twist, tapping the elbows. Make sure you're breathing. Don't hold the breath. Go at your own pace. Engage that core. Twist, center, twist, center, twist, center, twist. And take it back to center and let's float it down. Hug those knees into the chest. Hug yourself for a great practice, great job. Maybe forehead to knees. And then just let those feet come back down to the ground. Float the arms overhead. <clears throat> Extend through the legs. Just totally <clears throat> lengthen through the whole body. So legs are extended, arms are extended here. Start to feel the body grounding, the shoulders, the hips. Close the eyes. Then slowly start to bend the knees, walking the feet. We're gonna come into three back bends to close out our practice. So opening up that body. So, so taking the knees, hips width apart, knees over the ankles. Maybe your fingertips are touching the ankles. On your next inhale, start to float those hips up to the sky. Taking your bridge. Avoid letting those knees flare out. Keep them right over the ankles. Lifting up higher, using the glutes here. And then exhale, floating down. You can walk the feet out to the edge of your mat and let those knees touch, falling inward. Just taking a little counter stretch here. And then coming back for your second set. So each time I like to go a little bit deeper, you can do that or you can just stay with your bridge pose. If you want to take it a little deeper here, maybe tuck the shoulders underneath the body, taking that reverse volleyball grip, interlacing the fingers, press the palms together so you're on 
your arms here. And then start to come into that back bend. Inhale, lift the hips up to the sky. So chin naturally will start to come towards the chest. Option here to even lift up onto the toes, the balls of the feet, lifting up even higher. Wherever you are, just breathe. And then when you're ready, exhale, take it all the way down. Take whatever movements you need to here. If you need to bring the knees into the chest, if you need to let the knees fall together. Or windshield wiper the knees back and forth. Feel free to do whatever you need to do for yourself. And then coming up on our third, maybe going for upward bow, full back bend. Maybe give it a try, challenge yourself today. So when you're ready, taking the palms outside the shoulders, fingertips, fingers are facing towards your feet. And whenever you're ready, inhale, those hips up to the sky, and then hold, taking some nice deep breaths there. Nice. And then release, coming all the way back down. Hug those knees into the chest. Extend the legs up to the sky. Just breathing here. Let's slowly with control, start to float the legs down. So let them hover. Let's take three here before we come into Shavasana. Float the legs down. Inhale, float them up. Exhale, float like feathers, floating down. Hover, point the toes, and then inhale back up. Stay strong one last time. Hold and hover. And then just let those feet, the legs drop down onto your mat. Coming in for Shavasana. So taking those legs, mats with, open up the arms out and tee palms to the sky. Let those feet just fall to the sides. Feel really open here. Begin to let go of your practice.
Just come back to the present moment. Find that stillness in the body and mind. Feel free to stay in your Shavasana as long as you'd like, gaining all the wonderful benefits it provides. If you'd like to join me in closing out your practice, begin to bring some movement back into the fingers, the toes, the hands, the feet. Maybe inhale the arms up overhead, Bending the knees and then just rolling onto the right side, coming into a fetal position if you'd like. Just taking some deep breaths there. Slowly start to come back up to that comfortable seated position. Sitting up nice and tall. Roll the shoulders back. Closing out our practice with three cleansing breaths. 
Inhaling through the nose and exhaling out the mouth. Big inhale. Exhale out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Thank you so much for joining me. And thank you, cells, for starting your day in a positive and healthy way. As you go through your day and the days ahead, continue to make those positive and healthy decisions. Be good to yourself. Be kind. Be gentle. May you always have freedom in your heart, freedom in your soul, and freedom in your mind. Have a beautiful day. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed your journey today. If you would like to see new classes, please remember to subscribe, like, visit our website at cavellalife.com, become a member on our Patreon account. By becoming a member, it allows us to create new classes. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Cavella Life. Thank you so much. Namaste.